Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another product teardown. So today I have a Harbor Freight battery charger that doesn't. Um, it is one of their 21050 units and um, I went to plug it in the other day to charge a battery on the charger. And no bueno. So we're going to open it up and see if there is a reasonable explanation for its death before we um, send it to the dump. <clears throat> My favorite sayings is you can't fight broken. Right now it's broken. Unfortunately, corporate profiteering has made things more expensive than ever. Shipping's gotten so expensive they might actually start making stuff in North America again. Viva Mexico. in the front here that have to come off and I hear something rattling around inside so that's never a good sign This has been unplugged for a while, so there is a loose screw in here. I don't know why it's loose. And what do we got here? So what I'm looking for I was looking for a fuse because sometimes there will be a fuse on things like this. But I think this one is quite definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and take the input power board loose so I can look and see why it died. I just like to know why my money doesn't work anymore before I move on to greener pastures. not a very easy design to service and you can tell that they do a lot of the assembly before they put it together because it's, it's difficult to take it apart to work on it. But I suspect it is an input power failure. And ETL certified, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So I suspect that this is the cause of failure. made active and that's our current transformer over there but I don't see any kind of fuse anywhere on this thing 
I've got this over here, which is toasty, and that doesn't look like it should be toasty. All right, so that's probably the issue right there is a loose wire. I still think it's toast. Um, well, let me try and bond this again real quick, and then we'll feel frisky and plug it in. So there's that screw, and here's the little bolt that goes with it, and the other little bolt because these are going to be a giant pain in the ass to put in. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that you shouldn't try this at home if you don't have a clue what you're doing with electronics and electricity. Because 120 volts is probably enough to hurt you. Although technically it's not the voltage, it's the amperage that does the dirty work. safely over there on the ground and this is regular battery so I'm at least getting some activity at this point battery on and see what happens. to uh, the trash and uh, unfortunately I don't know why it is uh, failed um, I don't see anything obvious that's wrong with it yeah don't see anything obvious that's gone bad with it, but we're going to throw it away because it's not working and I don't trust it. And batteries can do bad, bad things. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this thoroughly boring um, and uneventful, and now you know what's inside a Harbor Freight uh, battery charger.